Now in this video, I am going to show you about PHP error. If you check my previous all tutorial about PHP, I hope you have seen that sometimes we have faced some errors messages. I mean, we have seen some error messages when we want to execute or run PHP code. But why we can see this error message? Do you think about this error about yourself? However, now in this video, I will show you why we can show this error message in PHP, okay? And how to manage this error and how to show error message as you wish, okay? So let's go to see live. First, open your jump control panel, start Apache and MySQL. Or if you use the WAMP, just start WAMP and then go to your folder directory htdocs index our first folder you can see my first php project just edit with notepad plus plus and open your browser write just localhost slash u folder name okay you can see in our previous tutorial i have showed about php filter advanced you know just delete the code and here just write php error handling okay at very first i can write here suppose php info okay just write php info function sorry php info okay and refresh your browser you can see just write php info you can see all kinds of information about php okay first you can see php version that i am using here you can see php one uh, sorry jump server and the php latest version 7.2.0 okay this is our php version and system build date compiler etc here you can see a lot's information about php so i will recommend that you need to check all that information line by line okay just read don't learn okay just read this anyway here suppose in this tutorial i will show you the error handling so here just write press ctrl plus f okay and here just write display underscore error okay and press enter you can see here display underscore errors is on okay local value on and master value is on you can see so default value by default this value is on in on all server jump or warm and for this we can see all kinds of error messages when we write the code okay when we mistake some syntax error or colon it is something like that then we can see error messages but where this function okay where this function i mean where we can see these functions manually so just copy this okay and go to your folder directory jump okay if you use the jump just go to the you can see first i am showing you if you use one server go to your own folder and then go to your bin then apache then apache okay then again bin then here you can see a file php.ini okay but if you face any problem you can direct write just one folder and here just write you can see wamp 64 and here just write php.ini okay you will get the file you can see php.ini the directory jump bin slash apache slash apache 2.4.3.5 slash bin okay and double click and here just control plus f this file and paste display plus error underscore error and enter you can see our display error this is here you can see default value is on development value is on and for this we can see all kinds of error okay you can see error type reporting etc but if you use one server one server just go to the one folder and then go to php folder okay php and we and then you can see php.ini okay just right click and edit with notepad plus plus also you can go to from here just apache and click here config okay and here you can see php.ini in your jump folder anyway here just press ctrl plus f and paste display plus zero find next you can see default value is on default value is on but if you write here off just off you cannot see any kinds of messages error messages when you do mistakes okay anyway it will help all kinds of developer to easily code okay 
and handle any kinds of error messages. Anyway, what kinds of error we can see? Here you can see error reporting. Default value, e all. E all means all kinds of error, e notice, e straight and e deprecated, something like that. Uh, syntax error or argument value in functions, etc. We can see. So here we can see that we are getting all kinds of error messages from here php config file php.ini i mean initial file but in our file you can see our folder this is our main file how to check all kinds of messages manually first here just write suppose error underscore reporting these functions okay then here just write suppose capital letter e underscore error okay then if you write more than one value you need to you can separate it just a pipe sign okay not double sign just a single pipe sign i mean it will react as or okay e error then you can write e underscore warning okay then pipe and e underscore parse okay in this file when you write the code and here you will get this message only e error by this value you can see all kinds of dangerous i mean server error okay when you do server error you will get the message e warning somewhat simple warning message and e parse so when you mistake syntax error i mean when you mistake syntax error in php you will get message okay that syntax error something like that anyway for checking you can write here suppose if if condition and here also you can write else okay suppose here i declare a variable something like that variable suppose i write value value equal to suppose i write 50 something like that you can write anything i am showing you just as an example and here value suppose equal equal i write 50 if value this variable value equal equal 50 then print I can write here print okay you can write you go print as you wish i'm showing you print and here just write suppose your value is equal 50 okay or if the value is not 50 then print a message suppose i can write print then i can write your value is not 50 okay something like that and here just to refresh your browser you can see your value is equal 50 our first message and pretty well you can see our value is 50 so it's correct but if you write here suppose this you can see our variable we have declared a variable v a l e value but here i have just delete the e okay and our variable is you can see v a l u so we can see practically like this value is not declared in our PHP block okay but we have declared a value so just to refresh you can see your value is not 50 this message is printed okay cause like this variable is not exist in our PHP block okay so but we cannot see any kinds of error message cause we don't declare like this variable but if you write here suppose R and E e capital letter e underscore notice okay notice error and again just reload your browser you can see undefined variable v a l u you can see v a l u like this variable is not exist in our php block we don't declare like this variable and for this we can see a undefined i mean notice error message undefined variable value and also printed your value is not 50 you can see your value is not 50 although e underscore notice is not important message just a notice message but when you write code and you will enable all kinds of error messages you will easily write the programming code and you will you can easily find you all kinds of error okay also e parse it will give you the syntax error okay syntax error you warning something simple warning message so i hope you understand okay also if i check here you can see e parse error okay it means it will generate syntax error if, if you mistake syntax in php then you will get a syntax error message for this 
value okay e underscore parser something like that if i suppose here just remove the semicolon sign okay you can see semicolon just remove semicolon okay and save and if you again refresh here you can see parse error syntax error unexpected if okay line number 23 you can see line number 23 here is mistakes cause we have remove semicolon okay and for this this error generated parse error you can see parse error okay so i hope you understand again and just reload you can see previous undefined and if i again write here just value e and refresh you can see all is okay so i hope you understand that how to generate error reporting message okay so thank you practice it and you will learn also more about it with project okay so don't worry